Hey everyone, welcome to episode number 76 of the Reseller Stew. Today we have April! <laughs> she didn't leave us. I know everybody kept going like, is she not on the show anymore? And, uh, oops, how did that happen? So odd. Okay, sorry about that. Um, I know everybody kept asking, like, did she leave? And I'm like, no, she didn't leave. She's, she's just busy. She works a full-time job. Like, <laughs> hey. so um but anyway how's everybody doing this week doing good good yeah have you been doing through i know you've been doing thrifting tanya has her son at home because he had his surgery but i've been seeing you out and about so i know you've been escaping like <laughs> <laughs> have you been making quick runs to the store to get some juice or get some uh milk like, yeah, oh, I do all the time. Yeah, baby, baby, you need something to eat. Mama, go get you something to eat. I'll be right back. <laughs> right, I gotta get out, you guys. I cannot take you that. I can't. I'll go stir crazy. I could imagine. <laughs> how about you, Miss Avery? What have you been going? Well, how have you been for the last three or four months? <laughs> uh shopping too much shopping too much i saw wait a minute no no no. hold on wait i thought i saw a video and i got a phone call about how you were on a shopping freeze yes and you, okay let me clarify i think you should just say that you're on a certain dollar amount level of shopping is that right yeah. like I, if I that's safe. That's safer than a, a sourcing freeze because that's never going to. I don't think anybody can ever do a sourcing <laughs> freeze. I think every time I've ever seen anyone go, I'm I'm not buying anything. I'm going through my my death piles. And then like the next day, like the guy who lives down the street that owns a collection of toys from the 1970s wow. never open. Their sister comes down to your house and says, I don't think these are worth anything. You give us some money, we give it, and they're like, okay, you know, it's always yeah. something like that. Always, it's always those type of things that pop up when you're trying not to spend money and buy more stuff. You end up buying the most stuff. Yeah, there's always something. I, I remember somebody saying, "Oh, I'm I'm doing a sourcing freeze," and then forgot that it was the like the longest garage sale, that ten mile garage sale, hundred yeah. mile garage sale, or whatever. And I was like, oh wait, never mind. I uh, never mind. Yeah. Oh, Connie Nicholson gave us a super chat. Thank you so much, Connie. So keep Thank you. So sweet. I know. I was so excited. Like, that just started a whole row last week because I had never gotten them before. And now it's like, super chats. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah. Um, okay. So, April's on a sourcing. What? Uh, trickle? <laughs> like a trickle <laughs> where uh if she sees something that's worth a certain dollar amount she's still gonna buy it anyway but yeah. she's not doing mass amounts of buying well it's not it's not really happening because already like i'm messing up <laughs> i'm already messing up because yesterday i came across these ralph lauren shorts at the goodwill with are the fish on? Oh my gosh, I love those. Yeah. Those are so crazy looking. Exactly. Exactly. How can you leave them? I would have seen more? those. Yeah. I would have yeah. seen those and bought those because that's the way I end up buying clothes is because I'm passing exactly. through the aisle and then I see some weird funky pattern. Crazy pattern. Yeah. yeah. That's how that's how I ended up with that Celine Dion shirt that I did sell. I guess I should talk about that in my solds because I saw the funky little sequin things on there and my eye went like, what's that? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, goodness. That's so awesome. How much were those? Uh, Three bucks. Oh, wow. What are you going to sell them for? Uh, 40 to 50. That's good. Nice. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. So, um... I guess since we're starting late, and I know you have to run, mm -hmm. um, what'd you pick up this this week, Miss Tanya? You have any goody goods? Goods? Um, so this week I've not picked up a ton of stuff. I got this book yesterday. It was a dollar ninety nine, and it's actually about I guess preparing for like 
doomsday and stuff. It's called How to Survive an EMP Attack to the Grid. I know somebody that <laughs> and would I, love that. Can you shoot me that listing? I know somebody that would love that. Really? Yeah. Okay. Well, I listed it on Amazon last night for about 40. And then, okay. So then this morning I was at the Goodwill and look, and you're going to recognize this April. I came across this shirt and the brand. Can you see it? Oh, oh. Double D Ranch. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And it even has the tags attached. So I'm super excited. I need to get this listed. This is That's a great brand. Fire to be looking for you guys brand so. new with tags with all that frill girl that's big money <laughs> right and then this week orange is 75 percent off i don't usually go through the clothes you guys but this morning i was just i did so i got this snoopy sweater that's cute and it was only three bucks that'll sell so well yeah. i would save it for christmas if you have the space i would save that for christmas i would just price it high and put it now and then, I know, I'll put in my, and then I'll put in my listing. Prices will go up as we get closer to Christmas. So you better get it for seventy nine ninety right? five. <laughs> it's funny because I was I was making a video this morning and I was talking about it and I was like I'll probably hang out, or I'll probably list this around October. And then I caught myself and I was like, wait, Christmas sells year round, so maybe I'll just go ahead and list it now. So I sold a, a, a stuffed bunny, an Easter bunny, you know, um, like the day before Easter. And it was going internationally. So, I mean, they knew they weren't going to get it, you know, right. on Easter. But, right. yeah, they'll sell. And I always sell, like, my Christmas stuff, my Halloween stuff, any holiday stuff. I sell, like, the week after the holiday. I don't know if it's, like, people start realizing, like, oh, I had wanted such and such but didn't have it. And then it's in their brain to, like, buy it then, you know, to look for right. it. Or maybe um, they went to somebody's house and saw it and then they wanted one, right? possibly i don't i don't know or maybe they're like i just said maybe they think that it's the price is going to be higher like yeah. as it's before the holiday and now that it's after the holiday maybe they think it's on sale because yeah. i know everybody thinks that people see our listings all the time and know our pricing all the time but they don't the yeah. typical customer is not stalking their the ebay listings uh you know, at all. Right. But I, uh, I bought something. I didn't do it at any sourcing really last week. The only reason why I went to the store is because Maria decided that she wanted to buy stuffed animals to list on eBay. And so she bought three or four bags or maybe five of plush um, with her own money. I think it was three with her own money um, that she wanted to, that she's done research on. And she came in to show me, she got a Squishables hamburger and she was like, look mom, this one sells for like 15 bucks. She came in and told me yesterday. So she's a, she, I can see it now. She's like me where I'm like, wow, this is boring. But she gets yeah. excited by the money idea. And I, I look, okay, my child already, Cause she's like, well, this one only sells for nine dollars, and that's not really worth my time. <laughs> <laughs> right. But uh, yeah, so she's already on it. Like nine dollars is just not worth her ten-year-old time. You know, <laughs> like, like what else are you gonna do? <laughs> right. So but, has she looked at any of it yet? No, she was started yesterday, and then my dad came. My dad like just showed up at random. Um, if you've been watching my Instagram, I've actually really been trying to motivate and make April like my my best month. Um, and so I started something called like the Quince Club, which is 15s. I mean, it, but basically what I did is I made a goal of like uh, to do 15 minutes of like cleaning up, to do 15 minutes of activity, to do 15 uh, uh, things. And then I was like, oh, I'm going to do 150 new listings for the month of April, which basically isn't as much as it sounds. It's only, um, you know, what, 10 items a day? No, it's less than that. It's seven and a half items. So even if I only did five one day and 10 the next day, then that equals out to seven and a half and um, five days a week, which is totally doable because some days I'll do 20 and other days I'll do two. 
you know. Um, and so anyway, my dad ended up coming and and uh, he's having his surgery tomorrow and we were trying to schedule some stuff. And um, uh, so anyway, she didn't she was doing that when he showed up and I was actually out listing. I had just started. And so. So does she have her, her own user idea and everything? Yes, it's called Kids. It's called uh, Buy Kids for Kids. Oh, how cute. Yeah, Buy Kids for Kids. Um, and she has one thing on there now, which is the that Justice exclusive uh, Beanie Boo, which mm -hmm. are actually worth really good money if you happen to find the ones that are uh, exclusive. Justice is a girl's clothing store. Mm -hmm. Um, it goes, it's basically for like young seven through like 12 year olds, basically is the way I see the store. Um, and they have exclusive beanie boos that they sell there that are big. And some of them are worth like over a hundred bucks. Oh, wow. I didn't and know they did that. Yeah. Cause they're only available there. But anyway, back to the point. I was uh, at the store because she went to, to buy these stuffed animals and I ended up buying this guy. Just this little guy, you know. This, this oh, how cute. Um, he's actually, I couldn't figure out what he was at first. And then, duh, it's right here on his little crystal. He's from Santa Paws. The Disney movie, Santa Paws. Oh. And I couldn't find a comp on him. Uh, I found the smaller toys, but definitely not this jumbo guy. And um, so I think I'm going to price him like $199 and just see, like, what happened. Oh, Yvonne came. You guys, <laughs> hey, I'm Yvonne. sorry. I'm going to sit here and be quiet for a minute and catch up. Sorry. Okay. I'll tell you why I was late when it's my turn, but I want your guys' opinion if I'm being a brat or not. But anyways, carry on. Okay. Yeah, so I got this, which I don't know. If anybody has seen one that's big that can kind of tell me a pricing range, I only found one on Google, and it was somebody's personal one from their collection. So that's I bought that guy. And I had bought some bags of plush, too, and I, went, I just went through them. They're on my dining room table. And there's a couple $20 ones in there. Um, so it was totally worth buying them. And then my dogs got some for themselves too. So they were happy. <laughs> they always love it. Right. Um, okay. So I guess, uh, April, did you have anything that you want to talk about that you picked up uh, oh, during okay. your, during your trickle other than your fishy shorts? You know, I do, Deb. You know, I do. Well, please <laughs> do share. You got some jewelry to share? Girl, I got I have all these beautiful sterling and opal earrings today that I got out of a bag. My my jewelry game has jumped way up since I've been buying jewelry bags. Like I have the dopest jewelry ever. And like when I um, <laughs> when my friends order stuff from me, I include something that kind of reminds me of them, whether it's a bracelet or a necklace or a watch. Um I like the right. jewelry. I'm really enjoying the jewelry hustle. But That's a lot of fun. <laughs> oh I almost don't even want to but okay so last week on my local facebook buy sell trade group somebody was selling some lego sets that her husband and her son had put together and the lego sets were sitting on the shelf and she didn't know if they were 100 percent complete but she wanted 150 bucks i saw the opportunity i jumped on it I didn't realize until last night as I was going through them and about to cry that, um, yeah. I laughed because I got a message about it. That's all. Yeah. That's well, I'm just going to show you guys, like, since <laughs> I do have my phone today, like, this bin here, we have some Harry Potter, we got some SpongeBob, we got all the Star Wars. There are Legos over in that corner, more Star Wars. I have Legos. Oh, my gosh. Oh, really quick. Oh, sorry. I have Legos everywhere. Sorry, sorry. Don't stress out, Dad. Don't stress out. I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> Come back to this April. <laughs> this one is still in my office because I'm scared to move it because I don't want it to fall apart even more. So what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to have my son help me start sorting these pieces by similars. And we're going to do some lots. 
We're going to do lots because I don't have the patience to inventory all these very complex Lego sets. These are just bags of mini figs that I picked out last night. Just mini Oh, figs. wow. Yeah, I literally have all the Legos right now. So I'm really regretting my life choices. <laughs> <laughs> but I, do, I know it's a good flip because two of the booklets for the um, the Grand Carousel, Grand Carousel, those two booklets alone go for a hundred bucks. So wow. I'm going to do completely fine on them, but what a pain. Why do the booklets butt. go for that high Lego doesn't have it? Normally Lego has all the books available. Well, you can download them, right? Yeah. But you know, collectors probably want the actual book. That's Maybe true. Like a copy. No, I always, yeah. yeah, I always thought that they weren't worth anything just because Lego normally has the, you know, like the actual instructions on their, their website. I but I checked the souls on all of them. And I know for that grand carousel, the two, the, the two booklets sell for a hundred bucks. This carousel looks like something that took, would take me all year to I put together. I didn't even show you guys the carousel. It's not even in my workroom because it doesn't fit back here right now. Like that thing is huge and it plays music and it spins. And there's something else in here with a motor that started going last night. I don't even know where to go to. <laughs> <laughs> I have uh, I have 40 pounds of Legos that I bought three years ago um, that are still there in the same tub that I haven't done anything with. And it's the same stuff. It's Star Wars, Harry Potter, SpongeBob, um, that I need to just go through and dig the minifigs out of and just put them into bags of like two pounds or five mm -hmm. pounds. Cause I was looking last night in like a five pound box of just random Legos unsorted um, were, they were selling for like $48 free mm -hmm. shipping. So I was like, well, I just need to see how many pounds will fit into like a medium flat rate and just. But you know what I, I noticed when I was doing my research, apparently some of them are more necessary than others. Some are just the plain, the plain Legos because the white bricks, you can sell those for like 300, 400 bucks, depending on how many you have. Really? I, I didn't see that the sorted versus the regular ones unsorted really sold for that much more, but I was only seeing like, like gray where they had all the grays together more. No, the, the white the red and the green do well if you sort them hmm all right maybe i'll have to maybe i'll just like invite some friends over and like have like a, a margarita a nacho bar or something <laughs> and be like okay here let's sort some legos and eat nachos i was about to say I'm all down the tonight. wine all the wine but you seem to have it under control all the wine is a margarita bar. <laughs> yes. Yep. All right. Okay. So, Miss Yvonne, what's going on? Oh, hang on. I'm just answering Connie in the chat. Um, oh, so Connie. Yes. When I can find it. Yes. I'm not like more percentage on vintage, but yes. Um, well, hi, everybody. And can I say hi to April? Because it's been forever since April's been on. <laughs> I know, <laughs> right? That's a great surprise. Um, so the reason I was late, I got caught up with eBay. Tell me, guys, okay, I don't, I'm not trying to be a brat. Like if this, like if this was you, Dub, okay, let's, let me start up. I bought a pair of shoes. Love them. Can't wait to get them. The seller writes me and says, um, they were damaged during shipping. And she says, you know, would you like to have a refund <laughs> or, you know, please send in a cancel order request. Cancel transaction. So she lied. Yeah, you get the okay. gist, right? Okay. She yeah, yeah. To see that I'm a seller too, and that she was just trying to protect herself from a ding. Right. You know, if that was you, Deb, and you said, "Oh my gosh, Yvonne, sorry, sorry, girl," for sure I would do that, right? Because I don't think we get, as far as we know, we don't get a ding as a buyer. No. Who really no. knows, you know, if they keep track, you know, on a lower level, but it's not overall no. But it's just the fact that the way she tried to play me. And then I mentioned it to her and I said, well, I'm a little disappointed that you put it in, you know, that I requested the transaction be canceled. I said, I'm going to double check and make sure I don't get a ding on that. And so she writes me back and says, oh, no, it's just the formality. She goes, we cannot cancel a transaction unless the buyer requests. You know, it's just a formality. Anyways, yeah, she tried to play me. 
So I just wanted to call eBay and just kind of talk about that a little bit. So like, I'm not trying to cause problem for another seller, but shenanigans like that can give eBay, you know, it can leave a bad taste in another buyer's mouth. Well, um, it, she didn't do a very good job of trying to cover herself. Cause if you're going to claim something is damaged in shipping, you have to actually ship it. And then, <laughs> you know, and I mean, yeah. now if you want to cover yourself and you did actually damage yeah. something, you know, yeah. while you were shipping it, you can say like, Hey, I'm sorry. I spilt my coffee all over my table and now they have stains. Do you still want them for free? And I'll pay, you know, for to basically for shipping costs. Or would you like to cancel? Yeah, she didn't you even know. tell me what the damage was. You have to, yeah, you have to give that. the customer an option to to do something else. Mm -hmm. um, if they're if you're going to cancel as buyer requested, because even when you're pulling shenanigans, you still have to give them the option of saying, you know, this item is missing. Um, I can offer you a discount of any other item in my store. You have an echo wave on. Um, you know, I can offer you a discount of any other item in my store. Would you like that or would you like to cancel? You know, and then you can even then still cancel it as buyer requested. But you can't just say and then cancel it like that. So she was I actually she's being shy. Hmm. I actually do that all the time. But 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 the way that I make up for it is I let the buyer know when I find the item. Because in my yep. case, it's usually I just can't put my hands on it. When I find it. They get it for free, and oh, I yeah, get great, that. great feedback from that. Yeah, I do that too. I let them well, know, like, hey, it's I got nothing. I got nothing but her trying to manipulate me. Yeah, she just did it wrong. Like she, yeah. she, she did what we kind of all do sometimes, where you know we find a way around it. But you have to actually have the buyer say, no, I don't want your other stuff. No, I. You know what? We have a really bad. You have a bad echo, Yvonne. Is it me? Okay. Yeah. Um, you know, so it's like you have to give them an option of either a discount or something in your store or another item or whatever. You can't just pretend. Yeah. <laughs> but I think most non-sellers are really happy with. I mean, as long as they get their money back. This only happens, like, the only time I'm not going to exert the effort to dig through every shelf in my store storage unit is if it's, like, a low-dollar auction item, like, six, yeah. seven, eight bucks. It's always the $5 thing that you lose. It, it always is, because we're not, <laughs> we not losing, we're not misplacing our $200 item. No. It's not happening. <laughs> you ask me where that Hermes um, tea set is, I can put my hands right on it. I know exactly where it's at. But an $8 Tummy Bahama shirt, I don't know. You'll get <laughs> Yvonne, I had to mute you because of your echo. I don't know if your speakers are too close to your microphone or what's happening, but I, just so you know that you're muted. So if you're trying to talk, you need to unmute yourself because I can't unmute you. All right. Okay. 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 Brandon needs something. So I have a question for you, April. While we're talking about clothes, okay. So I don't like what I was saying earlier. I don't. Y'all know I don't normally buy clothes. Mm -hmm. However, if I do see a certain pattern, I will keep my eye. And sometimes I will on purpose go look at the pajamas for Nick and Nora stuff because I have before sold really. I like I found that Nick and Nora macaroon pajama set for five bucks or whatever and sold it for forty. So I did find these Nick and Noras as well. And what I always do is when I find the pants, I always look for the shirt because it's there. Mm -hmm. I don't know why they don't group them together. But here's my question, though. Okay, so I have these. Aren't these cute? These Those little are monkeys. Cool. They oh, have monkeys. Yeah, they're cropped though. They have the ruffle bottom. Ooh. Okay, these are large. They have drawstring, you know, so you can make them as whatever. And this is the shirt. It and it matches. It's the shirt that goes with it. You know, uh -huh. little monkey, and but it's a small, but look at it. It's not a small, small. Cause look at it on my big no. body. Like, it's look, not. like, I mean, I can, this is like a Dude. large shirt. Like I know cause Maria wears a large and this would fit her, you know? What brand is it? Nick and Nora. Oh yeah. They run big. 
So yeah, would do. you, but these, but the pants are large. So would you still, I took pictures of them and everything yesterday. And then when I saw the sizing, I was taking pictures of the sizing and I was like, oh wait, these are a large and this is a small. Would you still sell them together? I because, would, I would just, I would look, look at the measurements. So yeah, somebody will well, know. Look at the, okay. Compared to the waistband of the pants and the waistband of the top. It's like well, the, the top is bigger than the waistband of the pants. It makes sense to me because I know, like, unless I have on leggings, I don't necessarily need anything fitting on my bottom yeah. when I sleep. Especially but your for pajamas. Your top can't be too loose or you get all wrapped up in it. So I Brian says, take measure. the top, take the size out of the top. You would just scratch it out. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yvonne, you're not echoing anymore. Can we test this? Yeah, you're not echoing anymore. You're Look, good. <laughs> I got us. I just hadn't hooked this. I just hadn't hooked it up yet. So there we go. Yes. All right. Cool. I have one too. I know. I think I got. I copied some of you all that use them. Said it was a good one. Yeah, I got a good one. Like Forty-five bucks. Yeah. Yeah. I got it off of eBay for thirty-three dollars. Wow, that's a good deal. Yeah, it was a pretty good deal. They're coming down in price a little bit. Then maybe they're coming out with a new one. Maybe so. All right. Well, um, we were talking about good finds. Did you find anything good this week, Yvonne? That you'd like to talk about? Um, hi, Swamp. Well, I've got this rack here. You guys, I don't know if you watched Prof Sales yesterday, but Karen and I were mystery guests. And on my Instagram, Karen, the better half of Prof Sales, is in Colorado. So we met up yesterday and I had her all day. And we started out the day with a goodwill. And so that's Fun. Yeah, all this. So, yeah, there's some pretty good stuff in there. There's some anthropology, better anthropology, and a um, couple vintage pieces, some more reenactment, ranch wear. I'm pretty excited. Yeah. Sounds like y'all had a fun day. We did. After that, I took her to Garden of the Gods Park here in the Springs. And I took some video clips for Instagram, but it was so windy. So the sound is just horrendous because, you know, it was just too windy. But we got to watch some rock climbers rappel down. And she was just having fun with her camera everywhere. So we had a great time. She's riding up to Pikes Peak now with her friends that she's visiting. And then she's catching the 420 back home. But anyways, we had a great time. Um, that, Deb, you just met up with... Um, a bunch of people too, didn't you? Yeah, that was so fun. I did not is. know what a reset that was. Like how helpful that is to hang out with other resellers like that. It's awesome. really interesting, especially to find like people because God, we still have an echo. Um, like oh, I, I hung out with uh, Rally Roots with Ali and and Ryan Saturday night. They did a meetup here in Austin. Um. They were just That's so exciting. I adore them. They were just here visiting and um because they did they did a road trip and then they were actually just here. They weren't here for like any specific reason. Um they have friends that live here. And so they did a meetup and you didn't hear a whole lot about it because at that particular time that Ryan said that they were like social media exhausted. Like that they had been live so many times. I, I bet they were. And they're like, we just don't even and if you watched like their their last couple of days here it was just like dwindling down to nothing like they didn't say anything it was like one picture and one <laughs> so not too many people knew about the meetup unless you followed their instagram story you didn't even know it was happening um where they yeah. posted twice saying oh we're gonna meet on saturday um so there was probably like 15 people there so it was a really nice tight group um we all sat at one table um, and I met some people from Austin that I didn't even know were here. Um, I met a gentleman from San Antonio, um, who's like, oh, I've been following you for a while, you know, and I was just like, awesome. You know, it's, it's really interesting to run into people like that. I, I, I like it. Um, Definitely. yeah, yeah. I met, I met some really nice folks and everybody, I love hearing everyone's stories. It's like my favorite thing because the stories that they tell you in person are so different than the stories that you might hear you know, picking, like having to pick up over social media, you know, of, mm -hmm. of this is their story. So yeah, it was yeah. really fun. So it did looks you like they had a good time. I saw them uh, 
skiing. I guess I don't know if they rented a boat or maybe it was their friend's boat. But yeah, I think it's their, friend, it's their friend's boat. Yeah, their friend's boat. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Fun, fun. Yeah, they're super nice people. So that was your first time meeting Karen in person, Yvonne? In person. Um, it she's... changes everything, right? It does, because like we were already pretty somewhat close. I mean, none of us have time to talk every day too much, but um, she was on a show that I did about better half of reselling, you know, women that come and join their men. And that was what, like a year or so ago. And then I was on her show once and we talk now and then, you know, when there's time, but yeah. Yeah. To meet someone in person just gives you the extra special bonding. Yes. And, uh, and then you see, just how real and genuine they really truly are. So yeah, yeah. it's great. Yep. It's that's very true. I, I, I love it. It's one of my favorite things, but um, okay. So let's just get into our souls then. What does, uh, I have mine up. Do you have yours up Tanya? Mm -hmm. Did April want to go first? I don't know how much longer she's going to be able to be with us. I have to, I'm going to have to share yours April, right? Or cause you're on your phone. Yeah, I'm looking, I can't even like, I'm trying to use my other phone, which is a problem in itself. So I don't even know. Like, I can't even pull up my store. It's ridiculous. Um, so hang on. I'll, uh, do you want to go ahead and go with Tanya? And then I can okay, get sure. up here. Okay. Sure. Okay. Um, let's see. I have to scoot some things around. I had to go into my safe cellars. Oh. I don't even have April in my safe. So it's just I do because I follow her. Okay. Can y'all see that bracelet? Yes. Okay. This is a Kate Spade Sailor's Knot uh, bangle bracelet. Oh, I'm echoing. Can y'all hear that? Yeah. <laughs> I paid up for this. I paid $20, but it did sell for $50. And then I sold my first Canali item. Or Canali, how do you say it? I say Canali. 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 Mm -hmm. It was a tie. I picked it up for two ninety nine, and I got a best offer for thirty dollars. Good job. That's awesome. And, yeah, here was a brooch, and it was unsigned, and I got a uh, best offer for twenty five dollars. Hmm. So it's really, really pretty. I love it. So it could be a pendant or a brooch. And then the last one. Oh, you guys! So I have to tell you about this real quick. So I should, or I sold the snow globe, the koala snow globe for $39.99. I probably paid like two or $3 for this. And this was last week. And y'all, <laughs> you know, my son's been home and I don't know where my mind was, but uh, I shipped the wrong globe. I shipped a panda globe and like, I don't even have the panda globe listed. So I don't even know where that panda globe came from, but the lady messaged me and she told me what I had done. And I was like, oh gosh, because from Texas to California, it cost me 20, like 21 or $22 to send it. And I only charge like 12 50 shipping. So luckily the koala one weighed a lot less and it only cost me like, I think 12 or 15 to ship it again. But you know, I ate that money. I had to correct my mistake. Yeah. That's so pay attention. <laughs> yep. And I told her, just keep the panda one. She was like, you do, do you want me to send it back? Because if somebody asked me to send back a breakable like that, I mean, I would just go into panic mode. I mean, I wouldn't know yeah. what to do if I wasn't used to it. Yeah. I have my souls up now, Deb. I can't even find your store because I had it saved and then it's like not here. Then I wasn't here for a little bit. And so you just deleted me. And I was like, <laughs> bye. <laughs> <about her. laughs> I'm out of here. I don't, I mean, the one thing that I can think of off the top of my head, because I'm still trying to package it, is yesterday, if you guys remember, um, people may have no clue what I'm talking about, but I bought a whole bunch of golf equipment, golf bags, golf clubs, um, a few of them are still in my living room. Well, I broke apart the things that I knew were worth money. There was a putter, a spider putter that sold for $100 and some change. Um, and then I sold a set of irons. I think there were seven of them. Those sold for like 120 bucks. And yesterday I finally sold the golf bag for $112 plus shipping. So I got both of those sets for $75 and I've done okay on them. That's awesome. And I'm, I'm waiting for the buyer to pay. 
as soon as I can get to a computer that's working, because my computer is still thinking over here, believe it or not. Um, <laughs> I had an offer this morning for $150 for some chic personal touch razors, which I accepted. But I don't know if they're going to pay because the person who made me an offer before for $150 never pays. So I need to get to a computer and see if it's the same buyer. If so, I'm going to have them blocked. I'm calling eBay. Maybe they finally got some monies. They still ain't paid though, B. It's been like two hours. <laughs> Where's oh. my money? <laughs> Avon, do you want to go next? Or I got your store up here or... Okay. Um, I don't think I've had anything really like, let me scroll over. I'm on my phone. I, I'm so discombobulated today. I'm exhausted from yesterday, but it was fun. Anyways, so let me get over here too. Okay. So nothing real, real epic since last week, but um, managing to keep things over $20 for the most part, which is my goal. Oh my goal. gosh, look at this dress. Yeah. That's a vintage uh, Joey Christopher, I believe. Yeah. That's adorable. I think the most interesting thing oh, yeah. is the Jinko. So the Jinko jeans. Um, sold both pair. Got moderate money for them. But I, I think I only paid like $5 or so. And then Deb pointed out to me on Instagram, and I went and Googled it, and she's right. They are, I don't want to say they're going out of business, but they're something about their license. They're not I heard they that. went bankrupt. They're selling out the rest of their stock. I know that at a reduced price. Um, perhaps the light we lost our licensing it was a cover up for yeah we're bankrupt. <laughs> so, I, I read that they um, the article I read said they were going bankrupt. Like that they anyways, and I was like really know. I didn't even know they were still around like that like actively in business. Yeah, um, not too much left on their website anyway. So Jinko still holding steady for resale. Jinko. And all the other related brands, which I can't remember off the top of my head. There's like five more from that frame, that time period of the wide skater jeans. Yeah. Sorry, I can't remember all the names. That but. was my that was my years of of like when I was a freshman and a sophomore in school. <laughs> was Jinko jeans time. Was chain wallets and and Jinko jeans. I used to wear corduroys all the time. I've never heard of this brand. <laughs> I must be too old to know. Yeah, How do you spell you were, it? This was definitely out of your, like, you weren't in high school anymore um, during this time frame. So I, I, I doubt. <laughs> That's a nice like way a, of saying it. No, I'm saying, like, I'm doubting as a young 20, you know, yeah. like, that you were would have had anything to do with these jeans. Yeah. They yeah. were the ones that were really wide at the bottom. Like, Super really wide. wide, wide, wide at the bottom. Like where the waist oh, might be a 32 days. and each pant leg might be a 32. Oh my God. <laughs> and your, your kids are probably too young. They probably weren't asking you for them. So yeah. Yeah. Brandon's not old enough to have been in that scene either. So you totally missed it. Yeah. But market is good vintage resale. Mm -hmm. and all the other brands like it. I'm sorry that I <laughs> bobulated today. You know, I can't even remember them and I, I was there. <laughs> oh I was rocking the jinkos. Yeah, I, I had a pair. I know I did. Um, let's see. Okay, uh, let me show mine. I got a couple goodies. My sales. Okay, I, I posted a thing in my like a little chat to my friends, and I was like, "Can I? Can I uh, just post this number to to like look like I'm doing something amazing?" Because at that particular time, it said my sales were up like three hundred percent. And now my sales are up 719% or something. And I'm like, I'm not going to tell the backstory that like I wasn't doing any work. And then now I am, you know, I'm just going to post this number. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, uh, like my, my little charts, like off the mountain on percentages of solds. Cause you know, I wasn't doing anything. I did Amazon for four months and then I did nothing prior to that. But anyway, okay, here, here's my soldy solds that I have to show since I actually have something to show this time. Okay, so I bought, I just actually just sold these yesterday. I bought 10 boxes of this flashing tape for $5.99 a piece. What you use this for is actually when you install windows, windows or door frames. It's to keep like, uh, it's the flashing that like covers the area. But anyway, I sold eight boxes. I had lotted them up into boxes of two and then I had five quantities because they're really heavy. 
And to try to ship these just one at a time would have been a total waste of money because it would have cost me 10 or 15, like it would have cost me 10 bucks just to ship them one at a, one at a time. And I can fit two into a flat rate uh, medium. So um, one customer bought eight boxes yesterday. So it was $240. Oh my gosh, what a great yeah. sale. Yeah. And then I sold my Celine Dion shirt with that I joke. background. I like it. That's my wall in my living room. <laughs> <laughs> I like that's it. Awesome. Yeah, my, I haven't like everybody thinks that that's a back like a backdrop, but that's actually my wall where my fireplace is on the right over here. <laughs> <laughs> the real wall. Background. Yeah, I have a, I have a, I have a my house came with a Poshmark background. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> but any, I paid, um, I think five ninety nine for this. I believe six ninety nine, maybe. Um, and this is the one that caught my eye just because it was. I saw these little square things in a person, and I was like, "Who's that?" And I was like, "Oh, it's Celine Dion." And I looked it up, and so thirty five dollars was the going rate on it. Uh, this went off to England, actually. Um, it's a good thing to weigh your items. Uh, I weighed it because I know some people always put thirteen ounces. You know, it's always 13 ounces or 15 ounces or whatever. I weighed this out and in the bag, all wrapped up in tissue paper and, and poly bagged and everything was under eight ounces. So my customer only paid $15 in shipping. If I would have not weighed this correctly and I would have said that it was um, a whole, you know, 15.99 or 13 ounces or whatever, um, they would have paid an additional $8 in shipping and they probably wouldn't have bought it because who the heck wants to pay $24 in shipping on a $34 item? Right. So, yeah. And then the next thing I sold was some of those hair curlers I talked about in my last haul video. Um, these uh, went for $39.95 free shipping. They already left me good feedback. And I sold that chicken that was in my <laughs> plush haul. I did find the eggs. I had to buy, I bought two different kinds of eggs. And this is the third kind before I actually found ones that would work in there to be the proper size. Um, I got these ones at, um, uh, at, uh, just the grocery store, but so, uh, and they actually ordered this like on Tuesday last week and were like, please hurry to ship this. I need it by Easter. I actually was at the post office when it sold. I came back home, boxed it up, took it back to the post office and they had received it. Yeah, because I was like, man, I don't need this person not getting it for some odd reason, you know, and then I'm out this money on this chicken. So right. um, they actually ended up getting it, I think, on Thursday. So they got it oh, really good. Fast. And they left me really good feedback as well. And then last up was those dance goes. If you followed me on Instagram, I did a post about these that I actually cleaned the scuffs off with oven cleaner, <laughs> with, Zep, with Zep oven cleaner. Um, and I did yeah. a little demonstration. These were the ones in that demonstration and uh, they sold right after that video. Um, full price, $44.95, free shipping. They went in a regional A box. So Them joints I need to get some of that shiny. zip. Do you, what'd you say, April? Them joints is shiny. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. And uh, I use Zep for weight. I'm probably going to end up with like cancer or something because I use Zep for like, I used to use it for everything when I was cleaning like, um, appliance parts and stuff and uh i remember one time i have a demonstration video on youtube where i cleaned like a tea kettle that was all covered in like kitchen you know kitchen oil mm -hmm. you something on your stove eventually it's going to get oil on it and i sprayed it down and literally took 20 seconds and i just wiped it right on off and what's that um what's the saying for frank's red hot i tanya don't know. know tanya would know this is right up tanya's alley you ever seen that commercial with the little old lady for Frank's Red Hot? No, I, I think I have, but I don't remember what it is. She like, I put that on everything. I put that ish on everything. <laughs> Use it for everything. Um, Cher is asking about the chicken eggs. Um, they were at the grocery store and they were actually labeled as medium. Like they had small eggs and then it said medium on the package and then larger eggs so right deb you didn't talk about your first poshmark sell oh yeah oh yeah okay right so, yes <laughs> and makari you're doing really good over there yeah right? i sold like three things on makari too or two things gotta get over there three. and try it 
Makari is so easy. Somebody asked me on, um, and I feel like such a doofus for not like trying it. Like I ignored them. I totally ignored them for like two years. Um, and then now I really like it a lot, but somebody asked me on the pinch and pesos page earlier, like, Hey, you know, what's the learning curve like for, for Makari? Because I'm already having a hard enough time with eBay and Amazon and I just don't need to add another difficult thing to learn. And I'm like, look, eBay is like algebra and Makari is like third grade math. <laughs> well, uh, isn't Makari and Poshmark similar in the way you list? Yes, they are. And so if you're cross posting, it's actually super simple. What I do is I do my eBay listing first mm -hmm. and then I have Poshmark and Makari open because they all have a desktop version and I just copy and paste over and they're almost Poshmark and Makari are almost identical. Um, but Macari is actually even more simple than Poshmark. Like it has less things to fill out. So does Macari do like Poshmark does in the fact like the shipping, is it just flat rate? Ma no no. Okay. So Macari does their shipping as they have some kind of negotiated flat rate. So like for, here, let me show you. Let me uh, get Macari up here and I'll show you because it's so simple. I, I wish eBay would do this so bad. Um, so let me share my screen. Okay, so I have Macari up here. Um, and you go to sell your item, right? And touch and go. And you can even put hashtags if you want. You just oh, put, wow. the, you put the condition. I I always put good. Um, I don't put anything as like new because like new is meaning that it was unused, but it doesn't have the tags. Then all you do, like you have your pictures up here. You just do your title, your description, uh, the condition, the categories are really simple. And most of the time it fills it in for you once you do the title. Um, and then now your shipping is super easy. Okay. I don't ever select this because it makes no sense to do it, to do your own label. You click prepaid label. The way that Macari works is basically it's only broken down into four sizes. Your item is either less than a pound, one to three pounds, three to 10 pounds, or 10 to 20 pounds. If it's like 10 to 20 pounds, look at the shipping price, 10 bucks. Oh my gosh. That's why um, you can see like Boss Lady, what is it, Becca Boss Lady? Um, like she sells her... Um, her wholesale lots, like her reseller lots over on Macari because she can ship a 20 pound package for 10 bucks. Um, three to 10 pounds, seven or $9, depending on if you want it to go, this will go smart post and this will go priority mail. Yeah. And then always, one, to, one to three pounds is only $7. Like, yeah, that would be great if eBay did that. And then less than a pound is four bucks. It makes it so much better. And then look at this, like the price. Okay, let's just say you're going to sell something for $40. And it's a um, dollar. I mean, it's one to three pounds. So let's just say it's a pair of shoes. And you're going to pay the shipping yourself. You can say it's seven bucks. And look at how much money you're going to get out of your $40. That's with free shipping and your fees. They only take, like that's with free shipping on a pair of, like a pair of boots. Yeah. It's super simple. It's like the simplest <clears throat> platform. And, and then Poshmark is almost the same, but a little more information. Like Poshmark and Macari are like the modern day selling platforms. Man, I wish eBay would do the sh at least the <laughs> shipping, the way that they do shipping. It's so simple, super, super simple. Um, the stuff while I'm over here, the stuff I sold on Macari, I actually sold some Dansko's. Oops, hang on. Um, I sold these Dansko's yesterday for $43. Those are trippy. Aren't they cool? Yeah. And I sold um, some Connects that I actually had on eBay for like a lifetime. Um... I had them on eBay for two years. And, and they sold on Macari? And they sold on Macari in like a week, if that. Yeah. Um, I had that on a couple items too. And I think it had a lot to do with the shipping rate. Like the shipping rate was really cheap. 
Um, even though I had them on eBay as free shipping, um, I still had to jack up the price because it was like five pounds to ship them, you know? But yeah. on Macari, the five pounds was only, what, seven bucks or something? Like uh, FedEx? And, and people, on eBay, it would have been like $15. Yeah. And people probably feel more confident in buying on Poshmark and Macari because they know they're not going to get gypped on the shipping. They yeah. know exactly what to expect. And, um, you know, they... I sold these. This is my first Poshmark sale was these skeleton shoes that I sold for $20. I remember when you got those. Those are mm -hmm. so cool. Yeah, I got them way before like Halloween and they didn't sell for Halloween, which I thought they would have and they didn't. And that was your first sale on Poshmark? That was my first sale on Poshmark. And it was, That's from, exciting. It was from an offer to likers. Okay. Yeah. Wow. I listed this yesterday on Poshmark. Isn't this cute? It is. Yeah, it's not a great brand. It's the Kardashian collection, but I bought it because it was two fifty, and I just thought it was adorable. Yeah, definitely. So, but yeah, I'm really excited about Macari. Like, and you know, just you got me excited about Macari. <laughs> I've been trying to like rev it up. Like, people have been asking me a lot of questions about it, and I'm I'm really excited about it. Yeah. I think the reason why I just ignored it is because I don't like to list on my phone. Mm -hmm. And I just, I just think it's clunky and people say, oh, I saved so much time. And I'm like, it's totally not the saver of time. If you're trying to fill out item specifics on eBay, it takes a lifetime to scroll through and try to find them. You know? right. And if you're old school and you've been doing it a while and that's how you learned, it's kind of hard yeah. to. And, and I like, you know, I, I just, I, I don't like listing from my phone. And so when Poshmark came out with the desktop version and Macari came out with the desktop version, then I was much more inclined to, um, you know, to cross post and. Right. Yvonne, how are you doing on Poshmark? Poshmark, I sold two items last month. Yeah. I know it's I slow have, for me right now. What's going on? I guess I I'm not sharing that. I don't, I still don't love Poshmark, y'all. I still do not love it, but trying to be smart, right? And diversify, but and just in case something crazy happens at eBay, but I don't love it. I'd rather just do eBay. Um, and on merch, I had some sales on merch too. Yes. Awesome. That was good. Sorry about my dogs. <laughs> Hi, babies. Deb, is she okay? I was reading. I'm oh. sorry. That's okay. <laughs> I know You're I reading froze. So quietly and still. I was like, I was reading um because they were talking about um that because Casey had posted that he um that eBay had bought Macari. And I've actually seen some other people mention that, but it was it was an April Fool's joke um oh. that had done and I had seen somebody else say like uh there was another April Fool's one that like uh like eBay had purchased Poshmark or, or something like that, or Amazon had purchased Poshmark or I don't remember, but I saw two different ones, but yeah. And I guess it was really realistic uh, looking because I had two other people mention Casey's post about the, Oh, well, didn't eBay uh -oh. buy Macari? You know? <laughs> yeah. Um, I was just trying to catch up with the cat. So how come you said you don't love Poshmark, Yvonne? What's, what's, what is your... I just, you know, even, I don't know, just always having to go in and share. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what Life Good Thrifting was asking. Is Macari social like Poshmark? It's not. You just list it. I like that. Um, you just list it. And I actually like the way that their search comes up as well because I've bought things off Macari um to resell and I, that because that's the first thing i did with macari actually was i i was this is how i got into it i found something that i wanted to resell they had it on macari for ten dollars and i was like oh man and i totally bought it <laughs> and uh then i saw that the person was only charging seven dollars in shipping and i was like oh darn i am totally not gonna get this because they're going to realize it's going to take them seven pounds to ship this thing. And there's no way $7 is going to cover it. And they're only charging $10. They're going to cancel on me, you know? 
Right. Well, then when I got to actually looking at Macari and how their shipping works, and it said, you know, three to 10 pounds was all the same thing, and three to 10 pounds FedEx was seven bucks. I was like, oh man, I might actually get this thing, <laughs> you know, <laughs> like, and I, and I totally did. The guy shipped it and, you know, he got his, what, eight bucks because they're, what, or nine bucks because they're 10% fee, flat 10% fee. And then the shipping was covered by me, $7. So he got his nine bucks, which is great for a seller, right? Yeah. You know, something for 10 bucks, you get nine bucks, you know, <laughs> like, that's pretty good um and yeah so when i saw that the shipping then that's when i got excited about macari because i was like oh yeah. my gosh now i can sell all that stuff that i don't have to be so picky about my pictures i can just take one picture or two pictures from my phone and be like here it's a such and such and if they want to buy it they buy it you know and the shipping is simple and i don't have to weigh it and i don't have to do, really do anything you know i was like this is an easy way to list things that aren't really worth your time on eBay also. Right. Is Macari as big of a platform as Poshmark is? I have no idea. I, I've only been using it for a short time. I'm not. You're not a Macari expert? I am not a Macari expert. I don't have a Macari course <laughs> coming out anytime soon. Uh -huh. um, What's the cut? What's the cut on Macari? 10%. That's all? Yep. Why are we all doing posh then when we should be over the car? <laughs> and actually clothing and shoes do really well over on Macari. And if you sell Ray Dunn, <coughs> put it on Macari because that stuff sells every minute. The Ray Dunn cups and plates and stuff. Yeah. But they, um, every time I list something, and the reason why I like it too is because it's not fake likers. The people that are liking my stuff actually just like my stuff. It's not some seller just trying to like my stuff so I can go share their closet, you oh, know? No. Oh, gosh, I just can't. I'm just over that kind of ulterior motives. Yes, I want to know that nine people actually are interested in my thing because then I can lower the price because they do the same thing. It's called promote. And you can lower the price and it'll send it out to your likers. And okay. Well, you just, you just throw a monkey around. And, and my now I know. The list. Like, I know that, yeah, yeah I know that the, the likers on Macari actually liked my stuff because they were interested in buying it, not just because they're another seller and they have to do it because it's required to be sending each other hugs. <laughs> What's the payment? Is it? What's the payment? Um, it's direct deposit. I mean, okay, they pay Bakari. It's just like posh. When you buy something, you pay immediately. Okay. They get the item. They have two days to rate you. If they don't rate you within two days, then Macari rates you themselves. They just give you your money. That's even better than Poshmark. Yeah. Oh well, Poshmark God. does the same thing, don't they? It's oh. four days, right? Okay. 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 Oh, my time. Yeah. And so I could, could I, I could pay with my PayPal if I buy something or use my credit card. Um, you use your credit card. Oh, wow. See, so customers have an option of that too. Well, I guess they do on eBay. That's interesting, Deb. Dang. Yeah. You're right, Tanya. Yeah. I got to pencil that in my day now too. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and it's so easy like to do the, the listing. It takes you less than a minute. Like yeah. literally less than a minute. I timed it. It was just like pictures. And the for, it's only a 40 character title. It'll fill in like your, it'll automatically do your category based off of what you said you're, it'll bring up like five suggested categories, you know, and you're just like, okay, yeah, it's boots, you know, and you do your description and your price and move on with your day. Yes, awesome. thank you. Poshmark, not so much. <laughs> <laughs> what, five times a day, we got to go in and share or, do something with a party or oh, right. Boy, yeah. Yeah. I just, uh, I, I, I'm, I feel silly that I totally ignored them all this time yeah. because they were, I be, you know, I, I think actually I'm happier maybe that I held off because I know a lot of people stopped selling on Macari when they started charging a fee because it was free for a long time. I kind of remember that, but they didn't charge anything. Like they were just trying to build a market. And then people like came to an abrupt stop, even though it's only 10%. And it's like abrupt. And they were like, I'm not, oh, they're charging a fee now. How dare they try to make a profit? 
you know? <laughs> like, yeah, that's, that's yeah. very minimal. Yeah. Natalie says that she started with Makari in the beginning and they've gotten better over time. So that's great. I'm, I'm super glad I came in when I did um, that they work their kinks out because you know me, like if I get jilted over something, I'm like, eh, bye. Right. <laughs> so I would might've came on early and been like, yeah, this is full of kinks and not worth my time, you know, and then never looked at it. So could you follow sellers on Macari like you do on Poshmark? Like, can I go? Yes. So uh, what is it? Well, wait, wait, you can follow, or? you can, f I know you can follow items. Let me see. What is it called over there? A store or a closet or it's not called anything. It's your stuff you're selling. It's just your stuff. It actually just stuff. says your listings. Um uh, I haven't liked anything. Let's see. Uh let me look, let me bring up somebody's item and let me see if I can follow them. I'm definitely um, going to do that. I might drop. I dropped Posh before. I might do it again. You you can heart the item. You can click on the seller and see all of their things. You you can. Um, no, you don't. It doesn't appear like you can follow sellers. Ooh, this person sells Littlest Pet Shops. I just clicked on that at random. Well, you know what? I think I'm going to do, Yvonne, I think to start out with, like, I might try and cross post some items, like not fresh items, but stuff I've already got listed. And just kind of cross post it over there and see what happens to start with. This person has 920 reviews. They've been on, they've been on Macari for a long time. Yeah, I'm going to try it. Thanks, Deb, and everyone in the chat. I'm going to try it, too. Yeah, hopefully we'll have some Macari cells next time we come on. <laughs> I and you know what really, really what raised my flag was when you talked about someone doing, and someone in the chat said they are too, doing wholesale lots through Macari. Like, yes. Yeah, because of the yeah. shipping. That's, that's really That's really smart. smart. Yeah, definitely. Really smart. You know what's it's funny? Nice. I signed up on Poshmark August 2016. I, I think mean, on Poshmark, have... on Macari, August 2016. And yeah. I didn't even use it. I because I am that person, and I've always said this before. Like, if you if the if a new marketplace comes out or a new social media comes out, sign up, even if you're not going to use it, right? Because yeah. you don't a you don't want anybody taking your name, but b you just never know what you get grandfathered into. Also, exactly. yeah. So I think we must have all signed up for Poshmark a long time ago when we were talking about it because I had that account for two years. Until and and then just now I started being active with it again. Yeah. Yeah, I am. I'm. I'm happy with it. I've only been working on it for what three weeks now. I've sold three things, and I only. That's have, good. And I only have. Um, let me see. Uh, Twenty things listed. Do they do app notifications on your phone? Yes. Okay. That's all I need. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, because it was an app. I mean, um, to begin with. But yeah, they do notifications on your phone. I know some people I've heard say like, oh, I don't like Macari because of a lot of lowball offers. And it's like, well, then you just say no. Yeah. That's everywhere. That's going to. Gonna... Yeah. And sometimes it's just people's starting point. They just want to haggle a little. That's just the starting point. Yeah, I mean, I had somebody last night wanting to haggle me over some coat shoes, which I have listed. Oh, I had listed for $50. I have them over on Poshmark for 40 plus shipping. And I have them on eBay for, I don't know, 40 bucks, 50 bucks. And they wanted to offer me 30 which is a reasonable offer. It's more than half. Um, But I was like, no, 40 and even though I have them on Poshmark at 40, but it's 40 plus shipping. And I, I put free shipping over on Macari. Um, and she was like, well, if you think about 30, you know, just let me know. And I was like, yeah, I'll think about it. I don't really want to sell them for 30. And then last night she asked me, oh, well, did you think about it? And I was like, yeah, I don't really want to sell them for 30 yet. I haven't had them listed that long. I've really only had them listed for like four days or something. And, uh, and she goes, well, what about 35? You know, so I'm like, that's not really a low ball offer if you really think about it. Mm -hmm. Going from 50 to 30 to 35 to, you know, 
especially because I have them for 40 over on Poshmark and I was considering like offering, you know, like uh, promoting them and lowering the price. And Makari's fee is only 10%. Poshmark's is 20, you know? Um, well, once again, I learned something on the reseller too. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Hey, Not too. hey <laughs> can I bring up eBay open? Nobody's... You can bring up whatever you like. Yo, Tanya, I know you said you have to tap out. You can't go this year, right? I can't. I've never okay. been. Okay, but Deb, I haven't heard you weigh in yet. Are you still? Oh, no, I'm not going. No, oh, I have other okay. family commitments and life commitments this okay. summer, and my daughter's moving from Virginia, and um, there's just way too much stuff going on for me to even have extra expenses right now. I get it. It ain't, it ain't, it's not cheap. Let's, I'm not gonna lie. It's not no, I, I'm gonna go at some point. Not because yeah, I'm gonna too. learn, not because I'm like, oh, I need to learn things. I just like hanging out with people. Plus, exactly. It's to, <laughs> plus, it's a trip to Vegas, you know? So, yes. Tax write off. Okay, um, well, next year. I'll report for us for the resellers too. Then. Yes, you yeah. can. You've got to take a lot of video too. I will. I will. I will. Yeah, I'll be I would love to see. I will. And then, of course, you know, everybody's going to share the important information. We're all going to get the important information from eBay. We're all going to get it anyways. We're all, you know, people will share. Right. So I'm excited. Okay. <laughs> I was trying to find out where my little, like, referral code was for Macari, but I don't. Oh, know. yeah, because I'm going to do that, Deb. So I'll wait till you. I'll wait till you get that in the, what, are you going to drop it down in the video? Yeah, I had posted it somewhere and then now I don't remember where I get it from. I think it's in the app. I think it's in the app. I was trying to find it on the desktop and um, it's not there. I'll wait till you find it then. Yeah, because I think you get $10 if you sign up with my referral code. You get like 10 bucks. Well, I'm a bad friend. I signed up last week. I don't think I used anybody's code. I didn't know yeah, you get, if I share my invite code, you get a $10 coupon and I get a $2 credit. Well, heck fire. You're poopies. <laughs> I don't like you anymore. You're fired. <laughs> Language. <laughs> hey, we lost April. What? Yeah, she long since gone. Okay. <laughs> It was so good to have her in. That was for sure. Yeah, she had to get back to work. Um, and I think her her internet kept cutting in and out. What is your problem? I need a link, is what I need, and it's not giving me a link. It's just giving me a code. Telling you, while she's doing that, so how does my how does this sound? Does this sound good? Yeah, you sound really good. I should get one too. Too close. Should I talk? No. Soft? Okay. No, it sounds good. And let's talk about your glasses. I really like them. Okay. Um, so all this lighting and computer time is, um, <laughs> I, you know, my tired old eyes are just like. Me too. And so Chris on 10K wears, you know, computer and light filtering and then Lindy does and some other people. And so I I bought some too. I actually bought three different pair. So you, you just search, you know, light filtering or tinted. And then these are bifocals too. So I could also, I don't have to keep, you know, cause I, I can have. see far away. Great. I've had Lasix for far away. I'm like 2015, but up close, I need 100. So yeah, so these are really nice and um, I think they're pretty 70s funky. I also bought some aviators because you know me, I'm the 70s, 80s girl. But yeah, she they were all under ten dollars. Or is that me? Huh? I don't know. It might have been you because Yvonne sounded fine. You want me to show you the other pairs that I bought? Oh no. No. Oh, we lost Tanya. Oh boy. We, we you. can hear you. <laughs> Just in case you start cursing. We can hear you. And yeah, but I keep breaking up, I think. There you go. I don't know. If anybody has any questions Are before we sign out for the there? day, huh? No, your internet's going down.
All righty. Um, let's see. Did we miss? There was some questions that were earlier in the conversation that we're asking about. Um, I'm looking. I'm looking. If anybody had heard of a checkbox on Amazon to indicate having your item in a box, otherwise it's going to come exposed in the item in the item package, i.e., a video card. Um, I guess is not in the box. I have never heard of that. I don't know what that was about at all. Um, Val R wanted to know if you can check solds on Mercari. Yes, solds are actually right there. It actually has a thing that tells you like these things sold in the last ten minutes. Um, but yeah, the solds you can definitely see. It keeps things there that's sold. So you'll see a search come up, and it'll be active listings, and it'll also be sold listings. Okay, so um, I just uh, you're back. I'm back. So Yvonne, we're gonna have to message after the show because or talk after the show because I I missed almost everything you said. <laughs> I'll send you like, pictures and show you and tell yes. you what keywords to Google. Timing out or something. The good news is somebody's coming out next week to look at our internet connection. We have a, I think they said leak somewhere. I don't know if a school has been a, chewed a hole in a wire or something, but we're not getting as much power as we're supposed oh. to be getting. Um, oh, Susan Redman said the thing I was, the question about Amazon about the packaging. Um, she said that she heard about it being an opt in for hassle free packaging. So that might be what it is, Joe. Sorry. Oh. All righty. Um, Good. And I think that's all the questions that I see here. So I guess we talked a whole bunch about Macari. I should probably put that in the title. <laughs> right. On because we did talk about Amazon today. Um, other than that, I guess that's it. Do you guys have anything special going on this week? Any shows or things or things you want to talk about before we close out? Um, I'm going to open a jewelry jar sometime this week, and I have some friend mail I want to open. So um, I'll be doing that sometime soon. Um, I know that uh, there was that question in the chat, and you answered it in the chat, was about the um, if you've ever come across a jewelry jar that was $100, and did you think that was too much to spend? And I saw you in the chat say that you you wouldn't spend that. But I do know my friend that sells jewelry would, have, would probably buy something like that, depending on what was in it. Yeah, because I mean, I told her if I thought I saw some pieces of there might potentially be real gold in there, I would definitely, right. um, and depending, you know, upon if the jar looked beady or if I saw a lot of gold and silver in there, it might also help determine whether I'd purchase a, a hundred dollar jar. Yeah, I think it definitely also depends on your experience from those locations because I know, like, my yeah. friend that would that would buy okay. that jar, it's because he buys consistently jewelry from there, and he knows that the jars, other jars that he buys, typically will have real gold and silver in it. You know. On right. top of other things, but so based off of experience, it's not yeah. something that I would roll the dice with. That's for sure. Yeah, but you know, I mean, there's definitely plenty of costume jewelry brands that can bring just as much money as the real, real gold stuff. So don't discount that. Yeah. All right, um, Yvonne, you got anything going on? Oh gosh, no. I'm. I gotta play catch up. Yesterday was a lot. I gotta play. We're live, hon. I love you. We, I gotta play catch up, so I'm gonna be kind of low key the rest of the week, y'all. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, I guess we're gonna go ahead and close out today. I'm actually gonna try to do a what solds video for actually the first quarter of the year because I didn't do any uh, videos because it was so sporadic because I wasn't focusing on eBay. I hadn't done any listings at all um, prior to March. I had done none since November, and so. My sales were really kind of here nor there. Um, so I'm going to do one for the entire quarter. It shouldn't be, shouldn't take that long. There wasn't that many. I think I've had more sales in the past week or two than I had the whole first quarter of the year. So, but I'm excited to get back to eBay. I'm excited. Um, and it's always reassuring whenever you actually do start listing and then you start selling things. Like, for sure. Yeah. You know, you're like, okay, I didn't buy a bunch of junk. <laughs> like, so. Right. 
All right. Well, let's go ahead and close out for the day. Everybody, thank you so much for joining us this Tuesday. We will see you all next time. We appreciate your support. Have a really awesome day. Bye.